What's up, y'all? So exclusive interview, Ryan Henry's former best friend exposes him for smashing his baby mama. I thought she was his wife. But, um, yeah, that's a lot. Um, They actually had a sit down. So I want to tap into this, man. Y'all grab your snacks. Uh, let's get into it. Yeah, they... What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, dig. And what the goddamn hell, yeah, leak. All right? We already read the title. Let's get into it. Um, this is an exclusive interview with Anthony Lindsay. Anthony is a former best friend of Ryan Henry of Black and Crew Chicago. Now, just to give you all a little background, Anthony and Ryan have been friends for over 11 years. And Ryan betrayed Anthony by sleeping with the mother of Anthony's son, who was also Ryan's godson, while Anthony battled cancer. Anthony, thank you so much. While he was battling cancer for doing this interview. Oh I know you and I spoke for a while and I know it's an emotional time for you. And I appreciate you doing this and being so candid. So Thank you. you're welcome. Why don't you start and just tell them, how did you find out that Ryan and Nina were sleeping together? Well, um, I was at her house and she was in the bathroom and my son picks up her phone and he says, I know mommy's cold. And I'm like, no, you don't. And he said, yes, I do. So I was like, show me. He shows me. He opens her phone. When thinking about going through her phone, I don't go through her phone. And I went to the text and the only thing I did was put Ryan's name in because I had suspicions. I'm like, why you just put Ryan's name in? He has suspicions. But I thought it was something wrong with me to be having suspicions. I'm like, he's the god of my son. I mean, why do I have these suspicions? So I never said anything about it. But the first thing I did was type in Ryan's name and a whole conversation came up. I think he asked And what mom. was that conversation? I feel like he asked his son for the code. You know your mama code. <laughs> Cause why would the baby just be like, I know mommy's cold. I don't know. Kids, they do shit. Conversation like. I mean, it was disturbing. Um, like when I was August the 11th and on August the 11th, she was sitting, she had moved to a new location, a new address. So she was sending her, him the address to where she lives at. And it, it, that that day sticks out as you can see. I remember the day because the next day we went on a father and son trip with our boys to what? Wisconsin Dells. We had a cabin for the weekend. So he and he's smiling like what? He had sex with her the day before we even go to a father and son bonding weekend. Oh, damn! And I see you know text about um, eating coochie. He's only, you know, and the stuff he's saying, I mean, I know it, I can confirm it, you know, like he's only, you know, I'm, he's not, you know, done that to so many women, but hers was so fresh. He had just got the shower. He couldn't resist it, you know, and things of that nature. Wait, what? Was, you know, I'm, he's not, you know, done that to so many women, but oh, hers was so fresh. So he had women. just got the shower. He couldn't resist it, you know, and things of that nature. Um, one series of texts I'm reading. We again, it's another family out, but this time it's with his family and my family. And in those messages, he's like, Hey, I won't even be around Rachel. And then she's like, Yeah, I don't want Ant to be all in my face. Oh, damn. So she's just right there, he just right there. <laughs> Ryan, the guy, he got a cold soul, man. We were going on a boat, a boating um, outing. It was just, you know, a private boat. Just right out with a boat the for, um, like six hours at um, one of those 100 foot yachters, and it was just all family. So, of course, you know, we were all there, and 
they were making all these type of, you know, comments and joking and, you know, at my expense and at Rachel's expense. And I beat cancer October the 23rd of 2019. That's the day that the doctor actually called me and told me that I had actually beat cancer. And we had... What type of sound? Do... <clears throat> shit. Can you do the Jean Mustard? And can you do the Chick-fil-A sauce? Thank you. A small get-together at Ryan's house. And I'm actually giving a speech thanking all of them. Ryan is on my right side. And she's on my left side. And I'm giving a speech thanking them for supporting me, you know, for beating cancer. And nice if you look man. at the video, I never noticed it before. But if you watch the video, you look at Ryan's face, I, I can tell he's disturbed. And not saying that, you know, that was something to make it better, but I can tell he's disturbed. And I haven't had a verbal conversation with Ryan. Um, we've text. He won't. He refused to answer my uh, FaceTime calls. Um, he look at you like a man. But he did admit it. She's admitted it. He never apologized until I told him. I'm like, man, you one arrogant motherfucker. You still haven't even apologized. You know, Damn. and then he did apologize. Thank you. And everything he tells me is out the window because, like I told him, if it happened once, so y'all was drunk. You don't know what happened. Even twice. And y'all, after that second time, we knew. I would never be able to trust another soul that come for my baby mama. Or that smash my baby mama. And you my friend. Oh, no. We were wrong and we hated it happen. Oh, trust no. me, man. Like, that's my brother to me. She's my son. Mother, my son is everything to me. I was willing to... I would have been willing to like work through that, but you guys had sex probably like, I think she like over twenty times, um, a year and a half. They was having sex for a year and a half. Oh my god, it just gets worse. And you, all those messages and all those texts. Not one time did anybody say, like. We should stop this, you know? And actually, three months ago, I was diagnosed with depression from the cancer, from fighting cancer. And I was, it's like a, uh, I think PSTD, something of that nature, from me battling cancer for three years. And, you know, everything my body went through. PTSD. You know, um, all the, sur you know, I had surgery, I had treatment, you know, and things of that nature. And, I only told Ryan and Nina that I, because I'm, again, I'm a black man and I'm an older black man. And depression, mental health, we know we, I was just, I'm bred, well, you know, I always have to be strong and I'm always trying to be strong. So I didn't want anybody to know that I was battling depression because I, you know, I looked at it as a form of weakness. So I only told them too. Cause I have a very small circle to begin with. Like those are my two go-to people for everything, for everything. And and now he don't have them no more. This just sad right here. So I only told them to. So you guys knowing I'm battling depression, I'm on medication, and you still do this. Like That's even me, when you found out I had to, you know, I had been diagnosed with depression. It's like somebody could have cared enough about me to say, you know what, man, what if he finds out about this? Man, that might push him over the edge, you know. And that didn't happen. It's that that's. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't have been able to do it, and I feel like she came on to him. I ain't even gonna lie, but I wouldn't have been able to do it. Still wasn't it. So it was nothing that could make them stop doing what they were doing. It's like, what did you guys think was on? Did you want to be a family? Like what? You know. And like I told him, I made you my son. If I'd have died from cancer, on oh my. On my deathbed, they would have been there. He'd have been on one side of me. She'd have been on the other side of me. Oh, my God. And as I'm dying, one of the things that would have helped me die in peace is knowing that he has my son. And he's going to look out for my son because 
he's my brother for one, but you his godfather for two. So I even said, I asked her that. I said, you guys are just, y'all just let me die. And like, let me go in my grave blissfully ignorant to the fact that y'all been fucked, sorry, having sex for a year and a half. My son's godfather. Like, when somebody bestows that on you, that's something big. I have two kids. My first son doesn't even have a godfather because I, I don't even trust people like that. But. Y'all, that shit, wow. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, what can you say? That was some trifling ass shit. I'm talking about trifling. That's, that's basically the gist of it. Damn. First of all, let me say, you know, praise God that you you beat cancer in your survivor. Um, this, is, this is a lot to take in. Um, so let's go. Let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. You said that there was a video when you beat cancer. You guys had a celebration and you were cheers. In the video, you said now that you look back you noticed that Ryan maybe didn't appear to be as happy for you no. that you cancer? Kids, mom, my friend, Rachel, I mean, Bert, they're doing me this whole journey, man. Like, what the fuck? It was like, damn, he survived. Yo, that's crazy, bro. This is so messed up. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, what the hell? Today, we be cancer free. Like, it's crazy. Like, this dude, is fucked. Like, I always believed in my heart that I was going to beat this shit. This nigga, even when I didn't believe it, he was like, nigga, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie. But the, the doctor called me and said, Meanwhile, them two just smashing. Oh my God. The burning sensation. Yo, this shit is so fucked up. Um, this is your detection. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is your detection. I'm like, so it's nothing? He's like, nothing. I'm like, you talk zero. I'm like, zero. You like, you want to say zero, nigga? So man, this to be zero, man. I appreciate the people that lit me up. Yeah. I couldn't have did it without support, man. I gave up. I swear to God. I mean, I know. Dang. I have not like to be honest. I don't have any. Let me just say this real quick. Nina's the mother of my child. My son loves his mama dearly. I love my son dearly. Wish no ill will on her. Period. I am. He's my brother at the end of the day. Rather, he made his actions that he made. I still love the man as a brother. I wish no ill will on him. He got a good heart. He got a real good heart. Because, baby, <laughs> oh, my God. But when I said that he did, – did he care I beat cancer? Yeah, I know he cared I beat cancer. Like, I would not even, you know, phantom that he didn't. But he, his joy on his face is not there. And I know. Because he wasn't happy that you lived, bro. I'm not even going to lie. He was going to be with your baby mama. Well, it's because he's dealing with the fact, like, because I can't see her face on the video. I only can see a side profile of her. But I can see his face directly. And I know he's saying to himself, why am I doing this man like that? Like, I know that's what he was doing. Well, maybe he know him. So you saw guilt that ain't on what his I get. face. I saw guilt. Yes. That's deep. Looking back over the years, because you mentioned that you, Ryan, Rachel, your kids, it was one big happy family. You told me that you all went on family vacations together. You said you didn't even take family vacations unless it was with Ryan and Rachel and the kids. Yes. 
looking oh. back looking back on those times now do you recall instance, instances where Rachel, I'm not Rachel, Ryan and Nina perhaps maybe gave each other a certain eye or acted funny or acted strange? Did you have any clue? I had, uh, I had no clue. I had a You had a clue. Like, I'm a vibe man. And the vibe hit me. But I, again, it made me question me. Uh -huh. I, was being I get that. You know what I mean? Because I would have got the vibe for sure. I would have got it the made, vibe. It made it question me. And the one time I did bring it to Ryan because um, Nina and myself had a falling up at 9 Mac. And I was a billion percent. Like, I didn't do nothing. But he was so much on her side. And I said, man, you act like you like her, bro. Huh. He got so upset with me. You were done. No. <laughs> so upset for me saying that. So yeah, I look back on that day. I look back on March first, my birthday, when me and Nita got into it, and she made like a reference to it. Like you worried about that? And we were drunk, but it was like she mentioned Ryan. I'm like, so what? Are, what are you saying? I don't know my friend Joe. I need to watch who my friends are and, you know, things of that nature. But she, you know, she retracted it and it was never revisited. But the times that I brought it to. I'd have been like, you're not about to walk past that like you didn't just say that. Repeat what you said. I said, repeat what you said. They say, I don't be forgetting shit. That's the problem. <laughs> Both of them. One, one to her and one to him. The way they reacted, it really did make me feel like, man, I'm really insecure. I'm tripping. You know, but it but that that wasn't the case. I was not tripping. Yeah, I was absolutely right. You were absolutely right. Now, did you work at Nine Mag? No, I did not work at Nine Mag. Um, I do various jobs for Ryan. Like, um, I don't have a job title. I mean, um, sometimes I'm his booking manager, his road manager. But you his do boy. Booking manager. When he runs out of town, I go. That's why he did that shit. To make sure the business is okay. You know, I come back, um, I might close a couple of deals, but no, I don't have a, a title. It's just like, Ryan always took care of me. Right. You know what I mean? I always mm -hmm. trusted Ryan. I, like if I book something, I didn't need to, I know he's going to give me more than 10%, you know, like, mm -hmm. like I, I can't lie. He actually, he always took, like when I, I mean, when I had cancer, if it wasn't for Ryan, I don't know what I would have done. You know what I mean? Because like at a certain point I wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Um it was it was a few things that Ryan Yeah. <laughs> he was taking care of you because he was smashing your baby moms, bro. This shit. Y'all this fucked up. I don't know no other way to put it. Yeah. Ryan definitely helped save my life. And that's why it hurts even worse. Like, that's why it's he did, he did, yeah, he did everything a brother was supposed to do. I, I mean, I, I bear like, I bear man, I bear my soul to Ryan. And then she, she didn't have no respect for him because Ryan was taking care of him. Like, I bear man, I bear my soul to Ryan. I'm like, I bear my soul to Ryan. What? I bear man. I bear my soul to Ryan. What the fuck does that mean? Respectfully, it sounds like he liked Ryan just as much as she did. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Unlike anyone else, because that's the, how close I felt our relationship was. I could tell him anything, and he could tell me anything. You know, um, Rachel. I never would look at Rachel like that. Her kids call me uncle. They call my brother, you know, my son, that brother. I could never do that. I could never do that, period. Ever. The betrayal is, is deep. It's cutting deep for you. You told me that recently um, you reached out to Rachel and you broke the news to her because she didn't know. She found out through you. Yeah, How I mean, did that go? How did that go down? 
<laughs> not went and snitched to Ryan woman. Oh shit. This a messy shit. <laughs> Rachel. Right when I found out immediately. I, I called Ryan first. He didn't pick up. Called him like three times. He didn't pick up. And I didn't know maybe my son's mother had texted him from another phone. I told him because we talk every day. So I put a message on, on Instagram. It was like, and I added him. I'm like, you having sex with my son, with my son's mother? Uh, you're a guy, son? And you can't pick up now? Yeah, we remember that. And day. then I deleted it. Because again, I didn't even want, I was embarrassed. Like I had did something. I didn't want anybody to know. You was embarrassed so because him. a whole nother man that was taking care of you. A whole nother man that was taking care of you is taking care of your baby mama with the D. And it clearly, she decided to have sex with the boss. I mean, you know, this is what it sounds like to me. Uh, from from what he's saying that Ryan was to him. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... Uh, Rachel, on FaceTime, with Nina phone in my hand, and I said, Ryan and Nina has been fucking. And I don't know if I could use that word, but I mean, um, like for... having sex, but I said the F word. And then I flipped the phone, the camera over and showed her Nina's phone just so she, because she's like, you liar. I'm like, nah, here you go. And she was hurt. We ended up getting off the phone. I ended up leaving. I was hurt. I went to the store. No, I went to actually pick Rachel up. Rachel was at the gym. It's crazy because I would have went and smashed Ryan, baby mama. I would have been like, you know, Ryan's sleeping with my baby mama. You lying. I'm going to show you. All right. What you doing? Nothing. Bet. I'm about to sleep with you. I want to pick Rachel <laughs> up. We went to the liquor store. Rachel does her wine. I bought me a bottle of tequila and a bottle of Moet. And we drank the bottles together and cried together. We cried together. Mm. I respect Rachel. This doesn't, you know, this is not a reflection of her. Our, you know, hopefully our kids can still see each other, with, you know, through her and her. That's good. I'm glad that that relationship, Rachel wouldn't have did at least, <laughs> hasn't been really damaged did. because of I the tried. choices that Ryan and <laughs> Nina made. Now, you mentioned that Ryan has not apologized to you. He did apologize after I mentioned it to him. I'm like, damn, that's arrogant as fuck. You haven't even said sorry to me, man. And then he's, you know, he did say he's sorry. Do I think he's sorry? I don't know. Man, Do I think she's sorry? I hate having I mean, to. She's, she's, you know, Nina's been crying. I hate having to tell somebody to tell me sorry. Like you just not gonna fucking apologize? Calling me, she's hurt. I think, but I can't say because I caught y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Had I not mm -hmm. caught them, I could believe everything. And no message. Like I said, I, if I even read one message to one of them saying, hey, this would damage this dude so bad. So bad if this gets out, man. Let's stop this, man. He he, man, he, he, he loves you. And like, Damn, you really got custody of the kids, though? Why would that be the first thing you thought of? <laughs> each other he loves you he can tell her i love her and she he didn't say she was a bad mama he definitely say ryan he loves but you like a I brother we shouldn't be doing this neither one of them ever said that not one oh she me. didn't either not one of them so you didn't witness the remorse between them so it's it's hurting even more maybe um, like right now she's not talking to me because like she she's tired of talking about it and like I saw a therapist yesterday, and a therapist actually said the guilty party has to listen to it a million times if that's if I need to express myself. You know, mm -hmm. that's the words of a therapist. Yeah. And wow. she it, it hasn't even been a it's just been over a week. And you're tired of talking about it, man. I'm fucking hurt. I'm tired of hurting you. 
you know. And then he says, you know, very arrogant things like, oh, you want to run to the internet for sympathy. Oh, I'm not running to the internet for sympathy. Right. You know, you look on my page. I never even, and before today, I never even said anything about it. You know, I didn't mention it. Period. <clears throat> I put up a post of me and Rachel with us standing back to back saying that she's my sister no matter what. That's it. You, you won't find me saying nothing bad about Ryan. You won't find me saying nothing bad about Nina. Because what, what is that going to do? My, my anger is for my kid. My, yeah. son loves, my son loves Ryan. I can't deny that at all. My son loves Ryan. We know why he love him. He been around him right now. Yo, this shit, wow. I'm not going to lie, y'all. You know? Yeah. Now, like, I fear my son could never see you again. Like, all the times I see you picking my son up, holding my son, but you having sex with his mother, it makes me wonder, like, did he ever go over there when my son was there? Hey, of course my son's Absolutely. not going to think it's a big deal because it's Ryan. So, you mm -hmm. know, I have to deal with all that in my head every day. So when she tells me she's tired of talking about it, you know how many questions in my head, like, Every time I talked, like, I feel like every time I told him me and Nina was having problems, I feel like that's when he would go and console her. Yes. You know what I mean? That, everything he feeling like Ryan did, that's exactly what he did. Like, okay. Well, if you ask me where I'm at, what you doing tonight, um, it, it was only to find out, you know, is is she going to be available? Am I, I always ask friends, like, if they ask me what you doing or uh, are you on the way or some shit like that. Why? I'd be lying. I'd be walking up the steps talking about I'm down the street. Don't play with me. What's up? I'm going to have Caden. You I'd be I mean? about to knock so on the door and tell you I'm down the street. The only thing I know is real is that I'm hurt. Now, you uh, mentioned to me that Ryan was so upset that he wanted to fight you. And he said he would kill me, actually. You know, and yeah. He want to fight me for telling Rachel. Damn. Like, I guess whatever him and Rachel are going through, now he blames me for it. That nigga cold. Instead of blaming yourself, because as you never put yourself in that situation, I, I would have had, I would not have had anything to tell Rachel. And I don't know what. Ryan is a cold-hearted, fine brother. Okay. The fuck he figured like you could wreck my life, and I'm still supposed to just be loyal to you, protecting yours. Exactly. Right. Like, what do they do to that, bro? Nowhere. That's not the rules. That's not, he's not playing by the rules. Um, you know, even on the show, Ryan had mentioned he only has loyalty to his children, no one else. Damn. So I'm, these events, his actions don't I would shock. Never, I would never befriend him. If I was any of his male friends, I would be thinking you looking at my baby mama. I'll be ready to fight that nigga every time he around my baby mama. Yo, yo, Ryan, what the... F like, what are you doing? Why are you looking over there? The party is over there. My baby mama is over there. I, you want to fight? Because, nigga, you... I mean, you got history. Fuck me. But to think that he... I would never imagine he would go this low. Best friend of 11 years... You're battling cancer. My no, son's the help of him. Yeah. Like, battling, battling depression. And now this betrayal of your best friend sleeping with the, the mother of your son while you're battling cancer, while you're fighting for your life. I never thought Ryan Henry would go this low. And this is as low as you can go. No, nah, that's low. Yeah. That's low, low. I mean... Nah, it's nothing else he could have did to me. Nothing. And I love Ryan's kids. Uh, I, you know, I would die for his kids. And I mean, I would have died for him. Mm -hmm. Man, fuck him. You know? He's still saying too too much submissive shit for me. His 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 submission. If I was her, would have turned me off, bro. Because I feel like he was saying that to her. <laughs> like, I die for Ryan. I die for him. 
That's my man. She's probably like, like, <laughs> what's up with Ryan? Like, maybe I need to see what, you know what I'm saying? What Ryan got going on and shit, because... I mean, my baby daddy like him, so <laughs> I mean something. Wow. All right, I play too much. I'm just saying, he sounds so submissive. So how are you? No, how are you? no woman wants a submissive man. Y'all know that. You got a submissive man around, and then you got a a, a, a grown man around, a, a assertive man around. Let me use that. So you got a submissive man and an assertive man. Your man just so happened to be the submissive man. So the assertive nigga walk in the room and you like, oh, oh my God. Uh, let me, I didn't know. I didn't know it was still aggression out here in a man. You know what I'm saying? And she gets to looking at him like, yes, boss us around. And, and this submissive nigga, baby, would you, would you like me to fix your plate? Baby, would you, uh. I'm going to go take care of Ryan first and then uh, I'm, uh, I'll come back and, and, and take care of you. Okay, because I'll take a bullet for Ryan. What's up with you and Ryan, bro? Like, what? What the fuck? Y'all got going on. I'm sorry to cut you up. How are you coping with all this? Are you seeking help? Are you, you going I am seeking help? help. I, am, I do have a therapist. But <laughs> when you say, like, like, it's so hard for me to cope with it because my circle is so small. Like, right now, if it was anything else, I would be going to... I would be probably going to Ryan, or I, I would be going to Nina. Those are my two go-to people. You say Ryan first. It's just... <sighs> so now I'm dealing with one of the biggest, and I can't say the biggest battle because my biggest battle was cancer, but I, I, I definitely can say my second biggest battle is this and the two people who I would look for for comfort, look for to help me, look for to help me through this. That, see, that's why Nina went to Ryan. He ain't even say Nina first. Like, just the two people that's doing it to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your support system and um, everything you relied on at your lowest point is just a lie, a big fat lie. They weren't, you know, sincere, and they truly didn't have your back. I'm not laughing at this. He just. He had a lot of submission with himself, y'all. That's, yeah. that's a shame. That's a shame. I mean, if you, you can't trust your best friend, someone you consider family, who can you trust? And to deal with Ryan trust. Ryan was a sneaky link between both of us. Issues. Like, battling depression is, is crazy. Like, I already can't sleep. I haven't slept in a week. Damn. I haven't slept in a week. And it makes me... You know, I, I know it's not my fault, but it still makes me feel weak that I cry every day, multiple times a day, because I'm I'm messed up. I'm messed up, man. I understand. That's I completely terrible. understand. We, I need to have you come back, and we need to do a part two. I know it's getting late there. And you have your son, so I don't want to keep you much longer. Um, why don't we wrap things up and end this interview now? Okay. I'm going to give you a call um, after we get off, and um, we can talk off record Okay. at the end of this. Okay? Thank you so much. And I understand Ryan was his, you know, friend or whatever. I completely get that. Ryan and the baby mom. It's just that he had a lot of debt to Ryan, it seemed like. And for him to speak of Ryan first every time, it was a disconnection with him and that baby mama. Okay? But we done with this video. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Peace.